All right, hey everybody. This is the uh, video I put on last night when I was shooting in the dark, 20 yards. There's the target out there, 20 yards. Easy V sight. I'm um, about 15 feet up in the tree. So you can see it during daylight. It's the first time I've ever, you know, when I'm shooting, you know, shooting this bow. Just getting used to it. Got kisser button on it. I don't have a peep sight, took peep sight off. I probably could shoot a peep sight through it, but I don't think there's a reason for it. Not, not for me anyway. So 20 yards, the easy V and uh, let's try her again. Like I said, I'll have to, I'll have to tweak it some. Easy V, dead center. That's, oh no, I'm not dead center. I'm too, uh, to the left, maybe I am dead center. I don't know, I can't really tell. Right, let's see. I'm just tuning it, getting it tuned in. So. Pretty good. My stand is uh, tilted, so in the ground, I'll tell you what this. Uh, I'll tell you what this also uh, actually does. When you're visually looking through the sight, when you're visually looking through the sight, it takes a little bit to get used to. Like when I'm I'm holding my bow out there, to me I don't I, I feel like I'm not canting the bow because my visual is actually lining up with the ground. So it looks like when you're looking through the sight, and probably with sight pins also, it looks like the the your bow is even with the ground, but it's not. So when you're looking through this sight. If, and you look up and you go, oh yeah, I feel comfortable right there. And you look at the bubble, that bubble, you're canting. You're actually not canting the bow. You're actually, you're actually looking yourself level with the with the ground, but your bow is not level with the ground. If that makes any sense. And it, and it, and you can't the bow to compensate for the ground. So when you bring that bubble to center, then your arrow goes right where it looks like it, where it's supposed to go. Very, it's very, uh, very strange. Let's see what regular pins you don't have that. It doesn't it doesn't make you level the bow up as far as what the ground level looks like. If that makes any sense. See I can't net bow over a little bit. Looks like I'm crooked. It actually looked like it only also it, it with your with like with your eye it actually looks like your bow like when you look at your bow your bow and your vision makes it look like the bow is not perpendicular you know it looks like it's not straight up and down it looks like you're canting it so you got to really depend on that bubble to straighten that bow up because your eyes level with the ground and make it look uneven if that makes any sense it's very it's very uh, strange you know shooting a level bubble because the ground is all off off e you know the, the, the ground is not even the ground is not level so you, you know if you pull back and you feel comfortable and then you look at your bubble you go oh shit I'm I'm canting the bow so then when you level up the bow you level up the in bow so you're not canting it with the ground because your brain probably automatically levels it. When you look at it and you put that bubble dead center and you look at your bow and you go, holy smokes, I look like I'm canting it to the, you know, look, you look like you're canting the bow to the ground. Like your bow is crooked, but your bow is actually 
level and the, it's the ground and your brain is visually seeing it visually seeing it in a different light if that makes any sense in a different uh I mean it's just it's just looking at it in a different light it's very strange but I'm sort of pins like when you're like when I when I've shot pins I I didn't I don't have a level on it so that's gonna make you shoot the bow left or right but when you when you do level it up like that with that easy V like I said, but when I pull back and I feel comfortable, I'm like, oh, this is comfortable. But I look at that sight bubble, I'm leaning it way to the, way to the, the, the bubbles way to my right. So I have to, you know, I have to pull the bow back and make it level with the ground. You know what I mean? The, the sight bubble level. But when it's up and you're looking at it, it looks like the ground is all crooked. <laughs> that makes any sense. It makes you sure you don't, can't, you know, you're not, you're not canting the bow to the ground, you know. It's very strange. I hope I don't break arrows. That's what I'm hoping I don't do. Oh, that's dead deer right there. That's all dead center. Within, you know, 15 shot it uh it took me five four four shots or five shots uh three days ago to get it dead center and i'm um, like i said i'm 15 20 feet in the tree and i would i would say with the easy v sight it's, it's very easy it's, it's pretty easy but you have to utilize the uh you have to use that bubble Especially up in a tree stand. Like, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm guesstimating, well, that's 20 yards. I could put it in a body cut and probably shoot the same thing. But, um, and the, and the site, the site is very, uh, it's pretty dang on good. I haven't tried any further distance yet. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure yet. I'm going to track and see. And, uh, you definitely can shoot it late in the evening, later, you know, later in the day. Yeah, and um, but that's uh, this afternoon. It's like three, three thirty, overcast, and that's my group at twenty yards so far. Made a little bit more tweaking on my part as far as relaxing with a release and making my release, you know, work work for itself, you know. Because the first shot I pulled it, and I, I could see like sometimes you, you get it back there and you're holding it, and uh, like I said, I've, I just started shooting a release with this, so. I never used to shoot a release. I usually shoot fingers. So the release is way different. But as far as this verdict bow, man, oh, man. It is the, this has got to be the quietest non-vibration bow I have ever shot in my life. That, this is, that's how... Why they ever... If they changed it up or done anything to the bow, why they done that, I could not tell you. It, it's probably... I've shot Hoyt. I shot. I shot the Delta Five. It first came out. It was a hundred and hundred pound draw bow. I shot. I, I. I just. I couldn't. I can't tell you how many bows I've shot. Different bows. Jennings Arrow Stars. Jennings T Star. Bear bows. All kinds of bows. None of them are are this quiet. And you listen to it on the video. The only thing you hear is. You just hear a th not even hardly a any sound whatsoever, and all you do is hear the arrow hit. That's pretty daggone good. I, I just can't believe the technology they done to the bow to get all the vibration out of it, and the uh, the sound of there's no there's no comparison to, to the sound of the bow when the bow goes off. To being that quiet, unbelievable. Well, I'm gonna get down out of stand. And I'll take a picture of the shot. That's 20 yards. <sighs> Hope you'll try the easy V. If you're having problems with sight pins and you have uh, reading glasses, go to the easy V. You don't need any. You don't need your glasses anymore. You just put it in that V and it goes where you want it to. Pretty good. But like I said, I used to. I used to. 
you know, shoot, I shoot a recurve sometimes with a, with no sights at all, just, you know, bare bow, so. And uh, one of the problems I was having, I wear reading glasses, so my sight pins would be blurry and I couldn't see the animal. Then if I could, you know, if I could look past the sight pins and see the animal, then, then it was blurry. I can see far away, I just can't see fucking close up. But uh, easy V, man, pretty good sight. I'm gonna I'm gonna hunt this year with my with a bow. Uh, it's been five or six years since I've hunted with a bow, you know. And uh, that was one of the reasons why I stopped hunting with it. And I've been shooting. A, you can see on my videos, my other videos, you know, uh, me shooting, a, you know, a crossbow. I was shooting the um, Fang crossbow when it first came out, and I, then, like I said, they got good uh, good customer service and everything, and and the PSE. So then I picked up this Matthews Vertic probably I don't know, well before the season was over anyway and uh, I kept hunting with the bow and then I ran my rabbit dogs and stuff but and I figured I'd get it all tuned in and ready to rock and roll for uh, this September and uh, shit I'm gonna have fun fucking shooting this thing it's, uh, now I don't know about the yardage going back further or whatever yardage it could be I don't know I'm just gonna move the target even further back and I'll see what it does but I'm pretty sure it's going to just go to the same spot. So, all right. Catch y'all later. That's the Easy V site review. Woohoo! I give it a thumbs up. I, I really do. Thumbs up on it. Catch y'all later. See ya. That's 20 yards at 18 or 15 to 18 feet. It's probably more like 15 to 16 feet is what it is. But that's the uh, shot with the Easy V. I would, I would, uh, like I said, I would highly recommend it. And a bone collector target's pretty good. It's a good stopper. Should have used that for my uh, crossbow. But uh, I use, uh, I'm shooting 65 pounds. I'm shooting a Matthews Vertic with a uh, 31 inch draw, and uh, I'm shooting uh, with the broadhead or the broadhead or the uh, target tip. I'm shooting uh, 408 grains or 409 grains all together. It's traveling right around 300, right, right around 298 feet per second at 65 pounds. And uh, I put the 300, the 300, uh, 300 uh, feet per second um, insert in the EZV. But that's what it did, and I'd say I was shot in five minutes after I put it on the bow, and then I just tweaked it just a tiny bit to bring it in, and uh, that's the results of it. And I shot it last night, almost a, you know, late, like it would be early, early morning, or you know, late, late in the evening. Sometimes you get those shots, you know, and uh, it's very easy to see because you're just looking right through it, right to the animal. So the easy V. Check it out.